Hello everyone, welcome back. You have someone else's Apple ID logged in on your iPhone and you can't remove it? Don't worry, this video will show you how to get rid of someone else's Apple ID on your iPhone. Method 1, Remove Someone Else's Apple ID from Apple Store If someone else's Apple ID is logged into the Apple Store, no password is required to remove it. First open settings. Tap the Apple ID name. Tap Media Purchases. Tap Sign Out. Tap Sign Out again to confirm. The Apple ID is removed from the Apple Store and you can sign in with your own Apple ID. Method 2, remove someone else's Apple ID using their password. If someone else's Apple ID is signed into iCloud on your iPhone, the password is required to sign it out. So, the best thing to do is contact that person for the Apple ID password. Method 3, ask someone to remove their Apple ID from your iPhone remotely. First, open the iCloud.com website. Sign in with their Apple ID. Click the Find My App on the iCloud homepage. Select your iPhone that is linked to their Apple ID. Then click Erase this device. Follow the on-screen instructions to confirm that you want to start the erase. Finally, click remove this device to remove your iPhone from their Apple ID. That's it. Method 4, remove someone else's Apple ID by changing their password. Go to settings. Tap the Apple ID name. Tap Sign in Security. Tap Change Password. Enter your iPhone passcode. Then set up a new password for the Apple ID. The Apple ID password is changed. Now go back to the Apple ID page and tap Sign Out. Enter the new Apple ID password you just set to Sign Out.
Method 5. Remove someone else's Apple ID via Factory Restore. First, make sure your iPhone has a passcode. Also, make sure two-factor authentication is turned on for the Apple ID. Then connect your iPhone to your computer via USB cable. Boot it into recovery mode. Open iTunes on your computer. Select the Restore button. Select Restore and Update. Wait for iTunes to restore your iPhone to factory settings. The restore was successful. Now set up your iPhone again. When the activation lock asks for the previous owner's Apple ID, tap Unlock with Passcode. Tap Use Device Passcode. Enter the passcode that was previously used to unlock the iPhone. The previous owner's Apple ID is removed permanently from your iPhone. Now you can finish your iPhone setup with a different Apple ID or without an Apple ID. Method 6. Get rid of someone else's Apple ID with iSumsoft iLock Refixer. If your iPhone is still linked to someone else's Apple ID after a factory restore and you are unable to remove it, iSumsoft iLock Refixer will help. Connect your iPhone to your computer via USB cable. Go to iSumsoft website. Locate the iSumsoft iLock Refixer software. This is a powerful Apple activation lock removal tool that helps you get rid of someone else's Apple ID without a password. Download and install the software on your computer. Also, ensure iTunes is installed. Launch iSumsoft iLock Refixer. Select the Bypass ID option. Click Start. Follow the on-screen instructions to boot your iPhone into DFU mode. Then the software will automatically jailbreak your iPhone.
Put the iPhone into DFU mode again. The software will jailbreak it once more. Once the jailbreak is complete, the software starts removing the activation lock from your iPhone. Success! Now you can set up your iPhone with a new Apple ID or without an Apple ID. That's what this video is all about. I hope it will be helpful to you. See you next time.